right, guys, here we go. Promise you guys we'll be out here with an excavator, but like most of these things, it's harder than, like most of these things, it's harder than you think it is when we get out here. So just these roads alone, we've been fixing and making roads, and now we're going to head down to the creek and just do a little sample panning. But this stuff is a lot harder. We've been clearing and making paths, and hopefully we can get down there eventually. We're going to still try this time, but we don't want to flip it over. Things brand new, but check out some of our old campsite here. We've been working all day. I'm going to go fix my gold plug. You know, there's only one cure for gold fever. We all know what that is, so uh, i to come here and pack up some of my stuff and get going. Waiting for Roy to come. He's coming now. So, here's some of the trailers we got. This was where we were keeping our camper before. But we got a, we found a well up there. We rigged it up to a generator. And it's working. So, we wanted to be closer to the water. We'll be heading down that way.
right, painting out the uh, top identification man of the hopper once again. Nice and clean. Looking pretty good. This just got about, let's see, three and a half yesterday, two today. There's about six hours on this. So, let's see here. Looks coarse and chunky. A lot of lead again. That's cool, yeah. Really different color one. Wow. A couple nice little pickers in there. There's a bunch more on back, let's see. Not bad. Yeah, not Here we are, day two, running this high banker and some nice material. I wanted to talk a little bit about this um, machine that we got, the Gold Hog, uh, Monster Hog. Um, you know, like all this equipment, it takes time dialing it in and stuff, but uh, I had some things with this that I definitely thought I needed to change. Personally, I like better. So, I don't know about the magnet down here. The hog magnet probably works just as good, or if not better. But I like to have braids expanded on the end of the box. I just like it. I like braids expanded so much because it really captures it. And anytime we have nuggets in my dredge and stuff, they're always caught in that raised expanded. It's just so many ripples here. Then the moss underneath. I got two different types of moss, two different types of raised expanded. And you know, the more different surfaces you can expose the gold to, the better chances of recovery because you got different gold, flat gold, some gold is rounded, some gold's really jagged. You know, just some of it gets caught in different places. So I love this setup back here, but I'm sure the hog mask will work just as good. And up here, if you guys know these machines, they usually have this reverse ramp riffle and a uh, damper mat up top. I took that out. I cut one of the screen from one of my old dredges and I put this here because I really like that protective zone. A lot of stuff is falling out of here quick. And when this damper mat was up there, it kind of tended to be that the material falling out of the high banker hopper was falling right on this and I didn't like that because I want that gold going down right away because if it's here it gets you know exposed to the slurry at the very top so I like that and I put the damper mat down here probably not necessary that's uh I like the screen there nice protected zone and then up here in the hopper if you can see our material you know it's probably just user error but we're getting way too much stuff in our channel too much material I mean you're always going to have some losses with high bankers but in my opinion, this is just too much. We did have a lot of clay balls. I don't know if that's from the clay balls, but um, I, there's too much water coming off the back of this. So I raised it up a little bit and I put this damper mat in here. Hopefully this will slow it down. I, I just kind of zip tied it up. I held this in place yesterday and it seemed to make most of the water stop going out. It wasn't much, but here and there, uh, it, it tended to be a little bit too much when the rock is caught or something like that. So I'm hoping this damper mat slows that down. Pointed these down a little more too. I think it was too high up. Um, I do like the clay claw because we got a lot of clay here in Georgia. Um, it does help, but it seems that when you're feeding it alone, this kind of, I wish the clay claw, maybe I should put it back a little further. I think I might have it too high up, um, but I would put it back further because this is kind of almost like a dead pool. It washes it up, but there's not enough destruction up this high. I kept raising these and then it just wasn't right. So I think I'm gonna drill new holes and put the clay claw maybe right in front of this so it can really destroy it. Just thought of that now, actually. It'd probably be much better to probably do that. But um, we're gonna do some more high banking. Probably another, maybe we're gonna go for four or five, maybe six hours a day and uh, see what we got. We'll be back. All right, so we ran for about six hours, three yesterday, three today, and uh, cleaning out the top um, hopper, identification screen there, and looking pretty good. We still gotta clean the rest of the mats. I don't know if I'm gonna do it here yet. I might just get a sneak peek, but it's a lot. It's gonna be a lot. I wanna classify it, run it to the blue bowl, make it loose. But this stuff is looking chunky and coarse, really nice. Definitely got some mercury in here. A lot of light too.
Looking pretty good. There's still a bunch back here all back in the back. Got some really pure, nice, good gold there. Very nice. Exciting. All right, we'll get back with uh, hopefully a full total for the whole cleanup for the whole trip. Different segments. All right, guys, see ya. All right, couldn't help myself. I started seeing some nice color in the uh, the mats. So this is the first box, first stage, and the miner's moss. And I'm seeing already in the corner, starting to see some really nice chunky stuff. Really nice. I'm gonna pan this down. I'm gonna clean it back up when I get home. I'm sure I'm gonna miss like 30, 40 percent of the gold, but I wanted to get a sneak peek. Give you guys one too. Let's see. We're cheating. He was making the road here, needed to take some off the side of the hill, and I saw color change, and we got an awesome new layer of super red and black gravels. I painted a couple pans and it was only a few specks in it, but we might just be in a high spot or something again. So we'll have to see if getting better pans out of the creek than in this old ancient stuff. So we'll have to see. Still got a lot in there, but. There's some. Oh, it's hard to tell the difference between some of this lead. Yellow lead, the sick bastards. Let's see. Oh, I the lead. That's a nice pan, though. Gold all in there. Looking really good. bunch of finds and they all fell back that's some core stuff very exciting all right it's getting dark so we got to get going but i'm gonna do it i'm probably gonna pin the next one too we'll see if we record it or not but either way i'm gonna come back with all of it later